Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Blunt Talks. Today, we're going to be talking about the differences between dispensary cannabis, which means, you know, like the weed that you would purchase within a cannabis dispensary, whether it's recreational or um, medicinal. And then we're going to be talking about how that compares to the cannabis that you're going to be getting off the black market, gray market, you know, like your local dealer, whatever, maybe some uh, underground delivery service that you came across or whatever the situation is, man. But that's a big topic. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about it. A lot of people believe that they get just as good cannabis from their dealer for a cheaper price, you know, black market, than they would if they walk into a dispensary. Now, obviously, a lot of this is going to have to do with, you know, your geographical location, the state you're in, you know, your taxes, you know, the fine print stuff and all that. There's some states where cannabis is really cheap, you know, like exotic premium top shelf cannabis is cheap as hell. You know, you, you know, I know you can walk into a dispensary in like Michigan and get an eighth of some really good weed for like 10, 15, 20 bucks. And, uh, you know, in my state, New Jersey, it's the total opposite. If you go into a dispensary uh, for recreational cannabis, you're going to be getting charged at least fifty to sixty dollars for exotic, the best top shelf cannabis, and uh, that's just the way it is, man. So that's why I just wanted to talk a little bit about my opinions on, uh, you know, the the cannabis you're going to get within a dispo versus the cannabis that you're going to get from the black market, um, the gray market, outside of the legal realms of uh, the cannabis laws within your state or region, whatever. So, uh, yeah, man, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about. Me, personally, I use both uh, avenues to get my cannabis, um, considering that I am a weed tuber. I like to stay up on all the newest trends and what's going on in the cannabis uh, dis you know, the dis dispensaries and all that. And also, at the same time, I like to find out what's going on in the black market, gray market, where prices are at and all that. That way, when I come on these videos, I can give pretty accurate information as to what's going on at the street level, the legal level, and everything in between. Listen, guys, if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate the support. If you can hit that subscribe button down at the bottom, you probably know where it's at. And, um, you know, that way, whenever I drop a video, you can get notified. Uh, I do a video once or twice a week, depending on how busy I am. But I'm definitely doing a video every week. Uh, Blunt Talks with two Zs. It's the YouTube channel dedicated to all things cannabis. Located in New Jersey, where cannabis just became legal for recreational and medical purposes. So if you want to join the Blunt Talks crew, hit that sub button. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to drop a comment and let me know what you think on the content anyway back to the topic at hand first I'm going to I'm going to start talking about and kind of break down how I feel about cannabis shopping cannabis flower the products you would get if you go into a dispensary legally in my state New Jersey so in my experience the cannabis that you get in the dispos is mostly really good Mostly, I say mostly because you do come across batches that aren't that good or, you know, that, the, you know, the uh, texture isn't good, they're too dry or sometimes, you know, they're not properly dry. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the, dis the dis dispensaries that... You know, it's, 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 it, there's shady practices. I mean, I've done a video on it. This is not, I'm not going to start going in on the uh, dispensaries. I just want to focus on how I feel about the flour and the products that you're going to get if you walk into a dispensary today and pick up some weed. So basically, in New Jersey, you're going to get yours a lot of money for an eighth. Um, when I say a lot of money, I mean anywhere from $45 to $65 to $75 an eighth. I've seen eighths go all the way up to like 80 90 bucks in uh, New Jersey. And that's, that's a lot of money, man. That is a lot of money for an eighth of weed. So if you're 
you know, I mean, to me, I feel like that a lot of people, when it comes down to cannabis, it's going to be like a situational thing. It's either going to be, you can't get it anywhere else. So you have to go to the dispensary. That's the only option you have because you don't have any connects outside of those legal avenues. Or it could be the opposite. It could be that you have to go to the black market because where you live, A, it's not legal yet. Or B, it's legal, but there's no dispensaries yet in your area. So that's why I say a lot of this is situational. Um, the situation you're in, where you live, and all that, it's going to have a lot to do with how you're copping your weed. But if you're in an area where you do have access to a dispensary, um, and you also have access to some type of black market, gray market connections, I'm going to try to give you guys the best um, of my opinion on how I feel about each. And honestly, I'm just going to say which one I think comes out on top. But I'm going to wait to, you know, towards the end of the video to uh, really give you my true um uh, prognosis man on whether I feel that uh, going to the, the dispo to copy weed or to go through you know some black market gray market Avenue I, I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best so when I started shopping in the dispos man I, I loved it I, I wasn't used to it man I was never used to just being able to go into a store and have five or six or twenty different um, you know strains to pick from so to me that is one check that goes under going to a dispensary and not all dispensaries but most dispensaries are going to have at least 15 to 20 different strains uh to choose from and that you know that's pretty cool man to have you know like a lot of different options and if you're shopping for like a certain type of like terpene profile or you're, you're looking for a high cbd level flower a, di a dispensary is going to be able to oblige in most cases because they have that big you know, um, amount of, uh, you know, products to offer you, opposed to most dealers, that's why I say most dealers, because I, I know some people, um, dealers, black market, that have, like, a bigger selection than the dispensary staff, so that's why I'm saying most dealers might have three or four different options at best, some dealers might only have one at a time, and you might have dealers that have the same strain for four, five, six months, because, Maybe they grow or the person they're getting it from grows and that's the only strain that they're growing because that strain produces high yield blase blase whatever you know what I'm saying but black market um, you're, you're definitely not going to be guaranteed the different various options but dispensaries almost I'm going to say in most cases you're going to be guaranteed at least 10 plus different options to pick from so uh that's why, and then like I said, if you're one one of those people that are really digging deep into like getting a certain like terpene profile, like these terpenes you want to mix uh, because they work best for you when you smoke it or you're looking for like a higher CBD or THC level, the dispensaries are going to have that information. In most cases, your dealer is not going to be able to tell you what the ratio between THC and CBD is, and, you know, unless he's getting it from a dispensary himself, like a backdoor deal and like you know he's getting like the actual profiles but most of the time your dealer you know what I'm saying that you're getting it from on the street isn't gonna have that type of information to offer you that is another check plus that goes for uh copping your cannabis at the dispensary is because you you know what you're getting man you know what I'm saying and look dude I did a video about how TC percentages in uh, the dispensaries are inflated, and that is the truth. But it's not the truth everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? There's probably like a couple bad eggs out of like 20 dispensaries. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's, I'm not trying to knock like all dispensaries, but that is happening in a, like you know a lot of the dispos around the country. So, but when you go to a dispensary, you are gonna be able to get a lot more information on the product that you're purchasing than if you're gonna go to your dealer. I mean, it's just the bottom line. Like, I wouldn't even ask my dealer those questions because I know he probably doesn't know the answer to it. You know what I'm saying? So, those two things are pretty, pretty big things. Now, another thing that might you know stop you from wanting to go to the dispensaries is not only is the price is high in most cases but there's only a certain amount you you can purchase so if you're a heavy smoker 
the dispo isn't going to give you the amount that you need. Like in New Jersey, I believe that if you don't have a medical card, you can only purchase an eighth, no, no, not an eighth, no, an ounce per month. Or it might be a week. I could be wrong. But it's definitely either a week or a month. And I know people that smoke more than an ounce a week. You know what I'm saying? So, And I definitely know people that smoke more than an ounce a month. So if you're a heavy smoker and you, you might not be able to get the amount that you need uh, going to your local dispensary. And if you go to a dispensary in New Jersey, you can only get an ounce per visit. So... Um, that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? And, like, dude, though, that, that shit adds up. And the way that they do it, it's not the actual weight of an ounce. It's, like, every item is an eighth. So if you buy, like, a grand pre-roll, that's considered an eighth in the computer. So it can add up real quick to, like, your max limit. And to me, if I'm going to the, the you know, the dispensary, I'm trying to go on a day where there's a sale. And I'm trying to, like, really... Like, you know, get the best out of my money. So if there's a limit and I can't get everything that I want, that kind of like Fs up the whole process and the idea of going on a sale day and being able to spend 500 because you're not going to be able to spend 500 because that's going to be over your limit. But sometimes you could talk to the manager and they, they'll override it for you. But not all the time. You know what I'm saying? So that's another reason why I... Sometimes the dispos, it bothers me because of um, that reason that you can't purchase over that certain amount. So most of the time, man, the dispensary is going to have really good weed. And when I say really good, I mean like top shelf, like smells good, tastes good, gets you high as hell, and uh, all the above, man. But the price tag on it is really expensive, bro. And I hear people always saying that they, they can't find dispensary quality cannabis um, in, on the black market. But that is just not true. Especially for me. Because I have a couple of dealers, man, that have like really, really, really good cannabis. I'm talking about dispensary grade cannabis and better. I mean, like, real talk. And, and, and it's... It's not as expensive, man. You know what I mean? So it's like that. That's why, like, I like going to the dispo for all the reasons that I just stated. But I can also go to my guy, my black market guy, and get just as good weed or better weed for a much cheaper price tag. So I'm letting you guys know, like, if you don't think that you can find banging dispensary grade cannabis outside of the dispo, you're wrong, bro. You can. And like I said, like, this is all going to depend on, like, where you live, your geographical location, and all that boozy bullshit. That, that all matters. But, I mean, when push comes to shove, man, if you've been in the Wii game for a long time, like me, that means that you know a lot of people. You've probably been buying it off the streets for years before it became legal, obviously. And um, you got those connects, man. And those are the people that, that probably have a vast, you know, uh, mat enough connects that they can climb through to find whatever they need without even ever thinking about going in to a dispensary but you also got to think about the people um that you know might not have it like that maybe they just started smoking um they don't have connects like that or they just started smoking because of uh you know the the legality of it now and because they need it for medical uh you know benefits and stuff like that and they have to go to the dispensary because that's the only option and that's the only way they feel comfortable doing it and if that's the case man like you know it, it, it is what it is but it is a debate some people think that the dispensary just has the best weed and you can't find it anywhere else and i'm just i'm just saying that is not true because i'm telling you right now i can go to a black market dealer right down the street from my house and get great quality cannabis for cheaper th that the you know cannabis dispos have and um you know, it's out there, man. If you know the right people and uh, if, if, you know, if you network and stuff like that and, and you start talking to people and going to like, you know, certain cannabis events and stuff like that, that's how you start to meet people and be able to outsource and start building up like your profile of people that you know that you can go and, you know, get cannabis and all that. In uh, New Jersey, cannabis is totally legal for recreational 
and medical use. So there's a lot going on. Like there's a lot of legal events going on, places where they just give stuff to you. And um, you know, that's how you network and meet people and, and all that. So I'm saying guys, if uh, you just want to broaden your horizons and uh, you know, try to find connects outside of your dispensary, it's out there, man. I mean, I gave you a couple of reasons of why I think the uh, dispensaries are a good avenue to go get your cannabis, but I also gave you some reasons why the black market is a good avenue to go get your cannabis. But this is my honest opinion, man. At the end of the day, if you're serious about your cannabis use, um, the dispensaries have a lot to offer, man, because they have a large variety you know what I'm saying? Multiple products, uh, strains, and stuff like that. And everything is tested so you know exactly what you're getting. So if you're terp shopping or, uh, you know, you're shopping for a certain combination of terpenes and cannabinoids, you could totally get that experience from a good dispensary. Um, it's going to be hard to get that experience from a dealer, but there's dealers out there that have it like that too. So um, at the end of the day... Um, I use both. I like to go to the dispensaries and I also like to go to my gray market people also. I like to uh, support everybody, man. I like to spread my money out, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. So, you know, everybody gets a taste and all that and I get to try different shit all the time. So, uh, at the end of the day, man, I I'm going to say that I just, I, I mix it up, bro. I use both ways. Um, I got no beef with the dispos i got no beef with the black market i think that um like i said if you don't have it like that and the only way that you know is to go to the d dispensary and to get your cannabis like that it wouldn't hurt to start you know just networking man and going to some events and meeting people and you know broaden your horizons man because at the end of the day you only live once right so you might as well live uh, life to the fullest, man. Go out there, do things, meet people, have fun, stay high, and all that. Don't forget, guys, Blunt Talk's the hottest YouTube channel about cannabis on the internet. Uh, I'm telling you, man, subscribe to the channel, support me, support the uh, cannabis movement, and uh, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to have a lit, uh, a lit day, guys. Peace!